there's really not much you can do to make a 1939 Ford convertible more attractive. The styling was a home run in the late 30s, and today they're simply stunning executions of the Art Deco movement. So when you build a rod like this one, the best thing to do is let the original curves and trim do the talking, and simply enhance what's already there. On this car, some of the trim was removed, the hood was nosed and shaved, and the rear end was smooth, but overall, the vintage look has survived the transformation 100% intact. This is an all-steel car, with no fiberglass reproduction parts, which gives it a solid feeling on the road, and ensures long-lasting durability no matter how far you drive it. That iridescent blue paint glows, even under the harsh lights in the photo studio. And you can see from the reflections that there are very few flaws in the surface. Hot Rodders are famous for their Concours quality paintwork. The only notable and significant modification to the exterior is the chopped convertible top and V'd windscreen. Most guys take the easy way out and simply make a fiberglass lift off top when they want to give the car the chopped look, but the folks who built this one went the extra mile and kept the folding mechanism 100% intact, as well as the side windows, then wrapped it in a beautiful dark blue canvas. Not an easy feat and my hat is off to them. Powering this gorgeous fat fendered rod is a simple, powerful and reliable small block Chevy that has been dressed up for show. Topped by a four barrel carburetor that uses a brilliant louvered air cleaner, it is powerful enough to move this steel convertible with real authority, yet still pulls down surprisingly decent fuel mileage on the open road. Traditional Chevy orange covers the block and heads, providing a brilliant contrast to the dark blue paint around it, and anything that wasn't painted was chrome-plated. Inside, you'll find a contemporary saddle leather interior that looks fresh out of a high-end luxury car. In fact, I'd guess that's exactly where the 16-way power seats come from, especially considering the integral seat belts. With a relaxed, plush look that only comes from gentle living, the seats are every bit as comfortable as they look. The rest of the interior was designed around these seats, with matching two-tone leather on the door panels and around the passenger compartment. The original dashboard was smooth and filled, then stuffed full of great-looking dolphin white face gauges with vintage-looking pointers very similar to what this V8 sported originally. The tilt steering column has been painted to match the body, and is topped by a gorgeous leather wrapped banjo style wheel with a billet V8 horn button. If you're looking for a stylish car with room for true vacation trips and plenty of creature comforts, this 39 Ford might be the answer. Despite the beautifully executed modifications, this is still a car that can be best described as simple. It's the essence of self control and restraint, wrapped in one of the most beautiful designs of the era. An exceptionally nice car that is ready for many thousands of miles and years of fun. Call now.